so how do we think about bubble okay uh, what is bubble is it a platform is it a language is it some tech stack is it some kind of website so it, the answer is that bubble is a platform okay it's a whole platform it's a as part of the platform it has many things it's a set of design kind of tools, a UI builder. It has its own built-in database. It, you can use APIs to interact with other kind of servers. You can you have servers and domain hosting built in this logs. There's connection to other apps. There's many, many, many things overall, and it's very dynamic as well. Okay. So lots of uh, other web platforms builders, they just do more like just the front end, the UI, what it looks like. They don't kind of do well, like, okay, you can draw the canvas. Here's what my page is supposed to look like. But if I click this button, what happens? It Bubble allows for that to be defined as well, dynamic interaction. And if I want to save something, it's a, it's a to-do app. I want to create a new to-do in the database. Bubble also allows for that to be done in a no-code fashion, okay? So it's not just a front-end UI builder. Uh, it's also a logic builder, dynamic interaction. It's also a database kind of data backend component as well to Bubble. All right. Uh, you can also call Bubble a language. Okay. So it support. It has its own kind of language and way of doing things. Okay. So if I, I'll say a few terms and you have, you won't realize that they're specific to create a new thing, make changes to thing. Bubble has its own kind of way of doing things, but traditional coding languages can be slightly hard to kind of read bubble is very english like okay you can it's quite very intuitive okay create a new thing do this sign up the user it's very intuitive and once we get into the editor you'll start seeing it and the language starts kind of making sense very quickly all right thank you very much and see you in the next video